guys, it's me, Wendy from Weeby Dolls, and I'm here to make a quick video just to show you guys this new baby that was just born. This is the Josie Sculpt by Olga Orr, and she was reborn by me, and I just love her. I love how she turned out. She has the sweetest little inquisitive, but yet kind of anxious, worried little expression on her face, and it's just endearing, and I gave her some dark auburn hair for the most part, but I blended in a little bit of carrot and blonde here at the front and some blonde here on the sides, um, close to the ears, around the ears area, the temples. She has some blue glass eyes and she has a little scratch on her cheek, a little stark bite, uh, very barely there eyebrows and rooted eyelashes. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. The camera is just not picking it up, but she has some milia or milk bumps on her nose. Yeah, it's just um, getting a little bit darker, so it's, my camera's just not picking it up. But um, yeah, so she's just she's turned out really cute. She has full arms and full legs. It's a little bit of her hands. And they're both pretty much closed little fists, except for this little baby finger here that's kind of poking out. She has full legs and she has really cute feet. They're they're a decent size. I think she could probably wear some shoes. Peppa, you okay? You okay, baby? She's snorting. That's called reverse sneezing. She does it every once in a while when she gets excited. And the kids just got home from the bus, so she's probably a little excited about something or other. She loves the kids. Um, so yeah, this is Josie, and I just wanted to share a little bit about one of the features that I did with her. I asked her mom um, if it would be okay. Most babies are weighted with glass beads, and she does have glass beads in her limbs, um, of course, but um, most babies are weighted with glass beads, little sacks of glass beads in their bum and, and up in their chest a little bit, but I asked their mom if... It would be okay if I weighted her with um, Jelly Belly, which is what McPherson's calls it. Some people call it baby fat. Um, but what it is, is silicone little pellets. And I'll just show you what it looks like in my hand. So these are soft little pellets. Um, they're squishy. And they're... McPherson sells them. You can use them as weighting material in your baby. Uh, I just wanted to add that um, you can use the Jelly Belly or Baby Fat silicone pellets as weighting material in the body of the baby only. You cannot use them in the limbs because silicone and vinyl kind of react. Um, they don't go what go together well. You should never touch silicone to vinyl. Um, there's some kind of like chemical reaction or something. I don't really know what happens, but I have heard and even um, even on the, the McPherson's website will tell you that there's a reaction between silicone and vinyl. So you can only use the silicone pellets in a little pouch in the body, not to be touching the vinyl. So inside the limbs, you would always still use the glass beads. Okay. Back to the regular programming. This was just an add-in later that I realized I had forgotten to say that. So, back to regular programming. They're not as heavy as glass beads, I find, but they are soft and squishy, and I, I enjoy them. Um, I would have to say it's not as remarkable a difference as I thought it would be, but it is still pretty cool. But McPherson's also sells these little um, sacks, uh, and there's they come with two in a set. So one is for the belly fat, and one is for the but the tushy. So it's a tushy and tummy set. And you fill them up however fill, full you want them with the poly pellets. Now, I would imagine that you could tie them shut. But what I did is I filled it up to oh, about here or so. And then I just folded this over like about a couple of times anyways. Like so. I can't do it one-handed. Neater than that. But it, it sort of like that. And then I basted it shut. Um, so that's what I did. I don't know what most people do with these, but um, that's how I closed it. 
was, and I'm not a sewer or a seamstress in any way. I can barely sew a button. I can sew a button, but that's about it. Um, but I just a very simple basting stitch across the top of it. And that's all I did to keep them in. I just thought maybe if I tied it, it might be a little, have a bulkiness about it that, uh, yeah. So anyways, that's what I did. Um, you, anyone else can do whatever they want. <laughs> there's no rules or direct, there's not even directions. So it's basically, you know, whatever you want to do, whatever works for you. But these were about, I think they're $5.98 at uh, McPherson's for a set of tushy and tummy sack there for the, um, not poly pellets, but although you probably could use them for poly pellets, but, um, if you like some poly pellets in the butt, I actually do prefer that for my own personal babies, but uh, most people like glass beads, but they're selling these for the jelly belly. Um, and that's what McPherson's calls it is jelly belly. If you look it up in their search in their website, you have to look up jelly belly or else you won't find it because I kept trying to look, search up belly fat and I could not find it. And then uh, one day I stumbled across it and was like, oh, okay. Cause they call it something else. So yeah. Um, and then I'm not like endorsing McPherson's or anything like that. That's just happens to be where I shop for most of my reborning supplies because you know, they're in Canada and I'm in Canada and it just works out because that way I don't have to pay duty or customs fees. And most of the time I get free shipping because if you spend over a hundred dollars in Canada, then you get free shipping. So um, I, I save a lot of money actually on shop from shopping there as opposed to other sites in the USA where you can shop. Although I have from time to time, um, if I can't find what I need there at McPherson's, but anyways, <sighs> just trying to finish whatever I had to say here and show you this beautiful girl. So she is not available. She has a mommy. She is adopted. Um, just waiting on something that I ordered for her so I can pack her up and get her to go home. But she is ready to go and meet her mommy. So I thought it was time to share her with you. And I hope you like her. She's she's so sweet. I tell you, if she wasn't already sold, I would keep her for myself. But um, I love her. So I hope her mommy does too. And uh, she's just she just turned out really cute. I love how how she came out. So anyways, guys, I don't know what I'm doing with my channel. Um, I have started making some videos. Uh, I've only made a couple for IGTV on Instagram. I'm just trying it out. I don't really know what the future of my channel will be here on YouTube um, with all of the changes coming. I did set my channel to made for kids because, you know, I've got dolls on every video. And although I technically do not intend for my videos to be made for kids uh it seems like if there's something on your channel or on your video i mean that could attract kids then you're supposed to put it made for kids because you know honestly i think everything attracts kids i mean my kids like everything they like turtles they like to know how heart beats and how the lungs air gets in the lung like you would be surprised the things that my kids will try to search up to find out and learn about it's not just toys it's all kind of things that my kids would like to search up but that's a whole other video in itself I guess um, but for me and my channel I've decided the safest thing for me to do is to set it to be made for kids I don't want to take any risk of any you know anything happening um, but that being said I mean, I don't really care about monetary loss. Honest to goodness, I make about 20 bucks a month. So it's no loss. It's, you know, barely a McDonald's <laughs> dinner for me and one kid. <laughs> but, um, you know, so it's the financial thing is just, no, I don't care. But for me, the biggest loss that will happen is losing my comments. Um, the whole entire reason that I made a channel on YouTube was to connect with other adult doll collectors because I didn't know any in my area where I live at that time I didn't know anyone who collected dolls and so I wanted to make friends that had a similar interest and shared this particular hobby so that's why I made a channel um, for the interactiveness for making friends and developing you know some friendships that way 
And I think if my comments are gone, I'm gonna just feel like I'm talking to the wall here with no interaction, you know what I mean? So I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy it. Um, not saying I'm going to delete my channel, at least not now. Um, just gonna kind of ride the waves and see how it goes, see how I feel, see what I enjoy doing, um, and all of that. But I am going to start trying out IGTV um, because at least there I know people can leave me comments and and stuff like that so and I also really I really enjoy Instagram so um, I just can't figure out like can you edit videos there like I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> someone told me today oh you should add hashtags I'm like I don't know where to put it I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> so I'm kind of laughing at myself I'm not very technological <laughs> I have challenges but in some ways, it might be easier if I'm not editing constantly, if I just can, you know, click, shoot, and upload, you know, it might be a little bit easier. So we'll see. See how it goes. I don't know. Um, the bottom line is I want to enjoy my hobby. So wherever I feel the most comfortable and, you know, where I'm feeling the most rewarded and, you know, as far as getting interaction and ma making friendships and stuff like that, that's probably where I'm going to hang out the most, you know, so... I'll just kind of ride the waves and see what happens. See where the wind blows. <laughs> okay, sirrah, sirrah, whatever will be, will be, is how that old song goes. And, uh, it, you know, I don't know. So, anyhow, guys, this video is longer than I expected it to be, and my house didn't get too loud and crazy. I think they hear me talking. They know I'm shooting a video, so they're being respectful. So, that's good. Good kids. Thanks, Mira. <laughs> You tried. <laughs> She's, I heard her just pop in the room a couple minutes ago, sitting quietly waiting for me to finish. So anyhow, guys, I will talk to you in the next video and hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.